G'day mate and welcome to Friday Facts 334. We have a new poison cloud animation, new flying robot dying effects, and we have a new dead mojo, right? Yeah. Yeah, he sounds awesome. Um, he's suffering a lack of sleepy mojo and headache mojo. Yeah. It's it's the best source of mojo we could find it today, so you'll have to have to give us some allowances. Anyway, on to the Friday Facts themselves. We have the poison cloud. So the poison animation was a placeholder uh, holder sprite sheet that Kovrex found somewhere on the internet. I wonder if they've got any copyright liability coming up in the future. Um, yeah. And they want to improve. The first time. Uh, yeah. Um, they want to improve it for a long time. Um, but it was such a little detail, it never took priority. And now they're actually getting around to their final po uh, polishing pass. So they've thoroughly improved it, and we'll scroll down so we can actually see the animation. They've gone through everything else, so they can finally, so they they can't find other things to put it off any longer. Yeah, yeah, you're running out of excuses. Basically, it's, it's like when you tell a child, any any parent out there can definitely hold up their hand. You tell a child to open, uh, go tidy their room. They'll find everything else they could possibly do first before they tidy their room. Dead set. If you want dishes done, tell kids to go tidy their room. You'll find the dishes get done twenty minutes later. Um. So some of the problems um, with the old ones. So the edge where the damage applies is not clearly visible. The center strongly obstructs everything, which is one of my complaints about the poison effect. Wherever you threw it, you can't see shit. Especially um, if you threw like 20 of them. Which I is, mean, it's just going to be solid what, green. What happens? You end up throwing five or six of them around a, a spawner as you circle around it in a tank or a car, and you just can't see anything. Um, and it breaks the uh, perspective height illusion with its very circular shape. Um, so yeah, it's been thoroughly overhauled, and I've got to say, it looks good. It looks like it's little clowns low to the ground. It looks like an actual poison clown. Yeah. Um, and I, I like that comment. The new animation was done quickly without the need of any large change to the factory in game. This is the mindset we're in these days. Use the engine features we have to finish things quickly. Uh, without trouble and to stop, try and stop ourselves going crazy with more detail. We'll get back to that final sentence shortly. Um, so yeah, look, the animation looks good. It's it's actually really, really well done. Um, especially the way it comes halfway up spawners and like halfway up the rock. Um, it brings back that that Gives feeling of depth. yeah, 3D and, and an actual height to it. Um, I do have the same age-old complaint and it's probably made worse in... 17 with the new spawners um although they're in 16 as well they look like they're breathing and yet they don't take poison damage yeah spawners have always been kind of weird well before they were like a solid mass and they didn't really move that much yeah it was more like a fleshy mass yeah now they than... definitely look like they're breathing yeah, well, they did kind of bubble and gurgle about like that before. It was just much finer detail and you couldn't really see. Yeah, I, they really, really, really look like they're breathing now. And they still take no poison damage. Yeah, well, they never took poison damage before. And you're also assuming that it's like where it's breathing is being affected by the poison. Like the very top of it above where the poison is could be where they're breathing. It yeah, could be something else too. I, 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 yeah, I guess that like really like poison cloud for biters doesn't really work. Poison cloud for spawners makes sense to me. For biters, not so much. I, I can't see them doing a lot of breathing just with their shell makeup and everything else. Um, I mean, the, the the spawners could just be extracting nutrients from the ground and don't actually need to breathe in the first place. Yeah, I guess, I guess, I guess. That probably explains why when they end up on the top of an iron patch back in 14, that when you kill them, the iron will be missing, right? Uh, version and... Oh, that goes back a long way. Is that 11. 14? 13? 11. Nah, I got patched out somewhere along the way. Yeah, version 12. Oh, did it? Okay, yeah. okay. I thought it got patched out later than that. Yeah. Uh. Um, yeah, that's what used to happen. When spawners showed up... On any sort of ore patch, when you kill the spawners, you'd have this perfect square missing of ore. And obviously, yeah, it's it's definitely the spawners eating eating the ore to spawn more biters. That's that's where they're getting the nutrients. Yeah, it's from. Yep. they're totally extracting nutrient nutrients from the iron. It's definitely not a layering issue where the spawner being placed on top of ore is deleting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're glad glad we sorted that one out. Um, 
So they do note down here, the spawn capsule uh, itself spawns um, some smaller dummy entities which do the smoke drawing whilst the damage is kept consistent by only using central smoke cloud to apply the damage. So they're, they're using their new not entities, entities, particle effects, um, which is good to see. Um, and I, I do agree, it now at least it has a definite, like you can see where it's going to do damage and where it's not going to do damage, which is... It was always a struggle before. Yeah, you with, could with the big green spiral. The big green spiral, you could go somewhere near it and just start copying damage and have no idea why. And I have never died to my own poison capsules ever, ever, ever. Yep. Yeah. Um, so then we have the flying robot die effect, which is the best sentence I've ever seen. Um, unlike the poison cloud, the flying robot dying was nothing we felt strongly about changing. It just exploded and poofed out of existence. With the new particle system, we had the idea of using a particle to show the robots fall into the ground. The experiment was quick and effective, and we liked the effects. Using the 16 different directions of the robot sprite, we can create 16 frame animations of the robot spinning for free, which is a good trick. Um, so yeah, they are taking advantage of the fact that the sprite has 16 different angles and therefore crashes in 16 different orientations, I guess. Um, and they can customize the death animation. Yeah, yeah, quickly and easily. Um, but I do go back to the earlier statement of we try and stop ourselves going crazy with more detail. Um, this was one of those things that I put down as not really needed. Yeah, it was debatable. Maybe for the construction and logistics. I don't know about the The combat destroyer bot. bots, the combat bots. No, I, I go with Especially no. when, like, destroyer bots, it used to be, well, sort of still is, you'd carry you know, upwards of 130 in a big swarm. Yeah, you, you, well, if, if you want to use them effectively, you, you spend the resource research points and you do you have you you carry a hundred plus um of the i think it was 130 bots. was the limit was the uh, point where you, you're throwing them as far as fast as they're just i think it was dying. 135 was the old cap and now it's 350 plus i can't remember i, I have done the experiment to find it's it how many an infinite throw. research it is an infinite research but you get to the stage where you're throwing them out and they have a 60 second lifespan, I want to say. I'm probably wrong. It's 120. It's 120. There you go. I'm pretty so sure. You're throwing them out and by the time you're throwing out the 330th bot, the first lot's, lot's dying because they've been around for a minute 20 or 120 seconds. Um, so, yeah, th th there's that effect as well. Um, which basically limits how many you can have following you at once. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think the next picture summarizes that pretty pretty adequately. Yeah, the, the next picture is, you know, because, well, to, compile, uh, to complete the effect, we need to pay a bit more of a price, creating some remnants on the ground. Dom didn't take long to model up and render three remnant variations for each robot. If you don't see the robots falling and dying actively, the corpse on the ground can really add to the battlefield. And look, they do. They really, really do. Um... I guess this is probably the only, like, the only little bonus is that, yeah, you can now see a combat field looks very, very much like um, death happened in this area. Um, in saying that, that's a lot of robots dying. Like, a lot of robots. Yeah, they do die uh, very quickly, generally. Yeah. They usually have a trail of destruction. Yeah, but... That's, that's a lot of robots for not enough biters, in in my opinion. Um, and I realise it is a bit of a, um, a sketch up because there's also like construction bots, and I think there's some logistics bots in there. I saw one before, and I can't see it. A construction bot, I probably take a logi bot. No. Uh, yeah, there's a construction bot underneath the tank, and I don't see a logi bot. There's actually two next to the tank. There's one below it. Oh, one yeah, there. and one to the... Yeah. No, I don't see a Logibot. There could be one, but I just don't see it. Um, anyway, look, it's 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 nice. It's one of those nice little features to have. I, look, I, I'm, I'm definitely not going to say no to it. Um, I just... Yeah, can, I can't complain. I can't complain. You, you're definitely right. Construction bots and logi bots, they need the death. Well, they they could have definitely done with the the, the death animation and the death remnant. 
Um, and then I guess you could probably argue that if those two have them, the other three would look odd not having them. Um, yeah, you'd want to have them for completion's sake. Yeah. So. And for the arguments they give as well. My my next argument is: Can my construction bots and logi bots just have like, when they crash into something, can they just do ten hit points worth of damage? Just just some small amount of damage when they collide with a wall or collide with a tower or smash into a robo port. Um, that's going to be my next feature creep, please. Just just a little bit of damage when they crash into things. Not a heap, just 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 enough to know that you know they they're they're carrying some sort of mass and doing some sort of damage along the way. Um, so, so it's like the um, the factory takes damage over time then. Uh, so it's something that takes damage, but then some bot there's some more bots come along and repair it. Yeah, that, that's that's essentially what would happen, right? You, you'd have like you, it's you a little could, um, repair pack sink. Yeah, you'd have your construction bots that are out on the front line repairing the walls or whatever that the biters are chewing their way into, right? Obviously, there's always that stupid construction bot that hangs around for too long, gets hit by too much spitter acid, would then fall into a rubber port or more likely a gun, right? Do ten hit points worth of damage to the gun, which is then going to call another construction bot to hopefully stay behind the wall this time and repair the gun. Um, just something. I just want to see just a touch of damage when, when things fall apart and crash the ground. Um, eh, I don't think it's valuable. Um, I, I like it, it, it falls in that not really valuable, but sort of adds a little bit more immersion. Um, but yeah, so this is it for the Friday Facts. It's another super, short one. super short one. Um, which means now I'm going to go off on a tangent, which Mojo knows nothing about. Um, but he's probably going to remember the Friday Facts 252 because we've spoken about that last week with the artillery sounds. And Where are your artillery sounds. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. This is underneath the artillery sounds. Do you remember the spawners that had um, the? It was meant to be the uh, the mess underneath them. Yeah, those ones. All right. So again, this is what the eighteen or the the twentieth of the seventh back in twenty eighteen. So this is a long time ago. Right, it's well over a year and a half ago. We've had the artillery turrets added. We've had the spawners with the updated graphics added, but we don't have the the remnants, the goop, the the the. I think somebody called it the zerg, the zerg creep. spawner mass, the zerg creep on the ground. And I'm wondering if that's going to be added or it's been dropped since. Because I have a feeling it's been dropped. Well, spawners have been in lots of Friday facts since. And I actually went through every Friday fax from 252 forward that had spawners in the pictures. And this is the only picture it shows up in. And I'm wondering whether they've just done, we've just dropped, dropped the, 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 the spawner mass, the spawner creep, or whether it's still going to come or what. Um, so yeah, I have a sneaking suspicion. Um, it was going to be a thing and now it yeah, look, I have a sneaking suspicion. It's probably, probably you, you're probably right. And I, look, I would love to see if we're gonna have short Friday facts like this. I'd love to see the Woob team get together and just like, this is what we have planned for before one point zero. One point zero. This is our list of what has to be added. This is our list of what we'd like to add. This is our list of if we ever get to it. Um, just, just so we as the player the player group have a bit more concrete idea of what's still coming, what's still missing. Um, because we mentioned, I think it was last Friday facts that we'd seen R seeding working on the character GUI. So that's definitely coming um, because we've seen a dev working on it. Blueprint oh, library. And we know um, several people have been working on that one too. Yeah. Blueprint library is sort of up in the air still. We assume it's still coming, but we have no concrete ideas. Um, I don't know. I can't think of anything else that's been mentioned in Friday Facts off the top of my head. I, I haven't actually stopped and looked. But anything else that's been mentioned is a a big fix or a big change coming before 1.0 that's not actually here yet. Um, 
There's I obviously imagine, still but that would be. sound work to be done. That we know. There's a lot of sounds to be, new sounds to be added, old sounds to be you know, re-looked at. The sound of the artillery turret turning needs to be added into the game. Yep. Um, well, so I knew that was coming. Yeah, it's 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 a pet hate. Okay, okay. I, I I've had mods for the artillery sounds for two three years now. Um, just to make them sound better, and then Woob said, "Here, we've got new sounds." I'm like, "They're great!" And then it's been a year and a half, and they finally get here, and they sounded like crap. They have been improved, but um, yeah, they're still they're still, still not working very great. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I'd love to see a list. Would you not like to see a list, Mojo? Of like, what do we have coming? What is still missing? What? More has like to be done. Yeah, like, like a road map. Like a road map. Like a road map, yeah. Um, there is one buried in the forum somewhere um, that's posted three years ago that they do edit occasionally and update, and it's out of date. Um, and I think there's some one on the wiki that's also out of date from memory. So, yeah. Um, yeah, about that. Yeah. So... Look, I think that's it for Fight Effects 334. It's it's short. We managed to make it in under 20 minutes, which is probably a first ever. Um, anything else, Mojo? Nope. Nope, that's I'm it. I'm going back to sleep. Okay, Mojo, go back to sleep. I'm going to go back to life and everything else. Thank you guys for watching. As always, do hope you've enjoyed this really, really quick Fight Effects and like side rant that we throw in for the fun of it. And with that, we're out. Bye. Bye-bye.